Hi everybody. We've been getting such an overwhelming response to my towel video and we've been getting a lot of requests for more sewing videos from Cece and Lulu. So here you go. I made these adorable jean purses out of old blue jeans that I happen to get from the Salvation Army thrift store. Um, I like to look at for the cute pockets. I got some cute gems at the dollar store, just little uh, sheets of adhesive gems. And I decorated the pockets with those. I had all this different fabric from things that I've made my granddaughters in the past, dresses, skirts, that type of thing. And I used that fabric also to line the insides of the purse. And then they have all these cute pockets on the outside to tuck their little doodads in. So this was already on the jeans that I got at the Salvation Army. So I'm going to be also making these in adult size purses. So come along and see how I make these. Now before we get into the video, I just wanted to remind you that Lulu and I will soon be doing a Q&A video answering all the questions that our viewers have. So please remember to leave in the comments section any questions that you'd like us to answer of yours. So let's get sewing. Now you can use adult jeans, you can use children's jeans, you can use your jeans, you can use someone else's jeans. I got these at the Salvation Army for $2. So you'll need to get a pair of jeans and then you'll need to get um, some fabric. I just happen to have this fabric around the house uh, that you can use to make a lining for the purse and then a belt to tie around the waistband for the purse. Okay, you'll also need some embellishments, whatever you wanna do to put on there. You'll also need some glue in case you don't have an iron-on patch. You'll also need a needle meant for thicker fabric for jeans, this is 100-16. Okay, and you'll also need a piece of Velcro, um, the two pieces that stick together as a closure for your purse. Now to begin, we need to cut the legs off of our jeans. So you want to straighten them out. You're going to curve them a little bit. on the sides and you are going to, you want to go down past the crotch. Now it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. We're going to sew a seam along the bottom. I'm going to curve this. Okay, now you want to reserve the legs of the pants because you're going to use these to make a um, strap or handle for your purse. Okay, we'll turn this inside out. Now I'm just gonna put a few pins just to hold this. Now what I'm gonna do is, I am going to curve, I'm gonna do a seam along here, and I'm going to sew right across here, and curve back up here. So we'll have a seam along the bottom of the pants. So now I'm gonna just sew a seam. I'm gonna kinda angle it on the side so it's a rounded edge. Back stitch to lock it in. Now you wanna make sure that you uh, don't sew up onto the pockets. You want it to be below the pockets or it's gonna look goofy. So a friend of mine had one of these bags and she had it made uh, by a friend of hers who makes them. And I thought that was such a neat idea. I really like the look of it. Okay, so this looks good. I'm gonna trim this seam. Before I trim the seam, I wanted to make sure that I was happy with the seam that I made. So I just made this seam along here. Trim this down. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut 
for the lining. And I'm just going to use this, uh, this bag that I've made as the pattern for it. Now when you're cutting this, you don't want to, when you come around, you don't want to dip in like the waist goes. You want to come straight up that way. And that, believe it or not, it'll fit in the purse better that way. Okay, so I have this fabric doubled. Now, um, I only turned it up this way and leave this, left this out because I only have so much of this fabric and I want to have enough to do a belt. So I'm just going to cut about 5 eighths of an inch around this purse. And I'm going to go straight up. Okay, now what I'm going to do is turn this right sides together. And I'm just going to do a seam all around except, of course, the top. I'm not going to seam the top up. I'm going to do about a 5 8 inch seam all the way around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the ironing board. I'm going to do a little quarter inch turn down. And then I'm going to measure, take my measuring tape with me to the ironing board and see just how much I need to turn this down to have it uh, fit properly inside this bag. So I ended ironing this uh, down about an inch and then I ironed it down another inch. So I have a nice smooth edge. So I'm gonna hem it just so around that edge that I pressed down. So now we have this ni nice neat lining. I'm gonna slip it in here. Okay, so now I am going to stitch this all along the top. I'm going to start at one of these side seams to make sure that it lines up at the side seams. Okay, now I'm going to stitch, I'm going to stop at this, you want to be able to have this belt loop here still because we're going to make a belt to put through here. So I'm going to stop and then start up again and do that at each belt loop. And then when I'm done, I will just hand stitch those little sections. Okay, so I have run into the issue where it's gonna to be too big around here. So I'm just gonna take a little tuck at the side seam. I'm gonna just tuck this in, fold it over, and it'll take in a couple inches. This is really the most tedious part of this, uh, finessing this around. Okay, so we have the lining sewn in. Look how pretty, that pretty red lining with the jeans. Now what I'll do is take a needle and thread and where all these little um, belt loops are, where I hopped over and didn't sew, I will hand stitch those little areas just to reinforce it. And then I will put a little stitch right in the center of the lining down here through the bottom and it'll just hold that lining in place right down in the bottom. So next we're going to use the fabric to make a belt. This is about 31 inches around so we're going to want right around 60 inches. So let's measure this out. I'll have to sew several together I'm sure. So that's 31. So I want to cut two of those. And I want it to be about an inch and a half wide. So I'm going to cut this to be four inches wide. And that way I can fold it over and that gives me enough room to for my seam allowance as well. So I'll cut this four inches wide. So I cut two because my fabric wasn't long enough to get one long cut. And I'm going to sew these right side together. Just about a half inch seam allowance. Okay, I'm going to head to the ironing board and I'm going to iron this right sides together in half. And then we'll stitch it. Okay, now I'm going to stitch the seam along here, but I'm not going to just make a square edge like that. I'm going to go on an angle so that it has that tip like belts or sashes do. Okay, so I'm about eight inches from the end, 
So I'm going to stop and then pick up again for in several inches. So I'm going to skip two to three inches here. And that leaves me an opening for turning this right side out. You want to remember to do your angled edge on this as well. You can see how I angled it off to the corner like that. Okay, now I'm going to trim my seams on the ends. Crazy dog. And then I'm going to turn this right side out. So you can see how I skipped a couple inches there and that gives me an opening for turning this right side out. This can be a little bit tedious. You have to be patient and just kind of finesse it. There's the one end. So as you can see, I have this turned right side out. So now I'm going to the ironing board and I'll press this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this all ironed. So I'm just gonna sew the little section of seam up here. Okay, let's put the belt on. Look at how pretty this will be. So you could do a bow if you want, how cute. Or you could just do a knot, isn't that cute? All we need is a handle. And if you wanna put any embellishments on the pockets, the front or the back, you could do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. So now you're gonna to wanna to decide exactly how long you want the handle to be, okay? So I'm gonna open this leg up I'm going to cut this frayed edge off. And then I'm just folding it right down where this line is, where they must have ironed the front crease on that side of the pants. And then I'm going to measure four inches, and then when you fold it in half, it'll be two inches. Okay, so I use the same part of the leg of both legs. So now I'm going to sew them right sides together. So it'll be double the length. One length just isn't long enough for a handle. Now I'm gonna fold this in half, right sides together. And I'm gonna stitch all the way down. And I'm not gonna worry about these raw edges yet because I still don't know exactly how long I want it to be. So I'm just gonna do about a half inch seam. Okay, so I'm getting close to the end, so I'm gonna, just like with the belt, I'm going to leave an opening. Now this is a thicker fabric, so I think I'm gonna leave uh, these three inches. So it's about 48 inches, and I think this, for this type of purse, is a good length. So what I'm going to do now is turn this in on each end. This is about a quarter inch, quarter to a half inch and sew the end up on both ends. And then I'm going to attach it to the purse. So I just finished sewing the handles on both sides. I just put it down in about an inch and I sewed a square, went over it a couple times because you want to, especially this top one, because you want to make sure this is on here nice and tight. Now, after I sewed on the handle, I decided I wanted to put a few embellishments on this just to kind of glitz it up a little bit. So I found some cute buttons out of my grandmother's and mother's old button box. And I just sewed those along the front pockets. And then at Walmart, I got this pack. It came with three of these uh, rhinestone strips and they were just stick on. But um, I used some uh, hot glue to put them on because I wanted it to be sturdier. Then I got a pack of these little red hearts. I'm gonna put one on one side. This is a glue or sew on. And I don't wanna sew through this because I wanna be able to use this pocket for maybe a cell phone or makeup or whatever. So I'm gonna just glue this on here. This is the glue that I use. It's when I call it tacky glue, I'm not kidding. That's exactly what it's called, tacky glue. And you can get this anywhere. Um, this I have had for years. It's lasted a long time and I love this stuff. I use it for everything. 
It works great on fabric, but it works good on other stuff too. Now for the final step, I'm going to put the Velcro on. Now you would have to put it where the button is and where a belt loop is, so I'm gonna glue this with the tacky glue. Let's put some pressure on there. This really is a good fabric glue. Okay, so now once this dries, then to make sure that it really holds tightly, I'm going to do with some hand stitching because this is gonna take a beating and the glue alone isn't gonna hold it. Look at how cute this is. Isn't it adorable? And so affordable and fun. Come and take a look at the special little details. I'm so happy to have been able to share this video with you today. Please remember to leave your questions for our Q&A video down in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be having more sewing videos coming up. Now, if you would like to see some that I've already done, click down here in this corner, click this top corner circle to subscribe to our channel. Now remember to tag us on Facebook and Instagram with the purses that you make. We'd love to see how creative you get. Now remember, you are loved by Jesus Christ and by CC and Lulu because you are a priceless beauty. Bye everybody, have a great day.